Hey guys, it's Corey, and welcome back to another buying guide with 10 best ones. Today, we'll talk about which are the five best picks, how to choose the correct product, and what you should look at before buying. We've ranked these products based on their price, quality, durability, performance, and more. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. To make it easier, we will include timestamps in the description as well. Let's get started. Before looking at our best picks for today's video, I want to discuss what you should look at before buying. When you're considering buying a monitor, the first thing you need to check out is its size, regardless of the purpose you're planning to use it for. There are different sizes these days available for monitors, including 19, 22, 24, 27 and 32 inch screens as the most popular of them. There are also ultra wide models out there that deliver a dual monitor experience in the body of one. So choose something that'll be enough for your needs and will also fit into your designated desk area. So don't choose something really large if you don't have the space. Secondly, resolution. The resolution of the panel you're buying is an important factor, especially if you're buying it for video editing, because you'll need a lot of detail and sharpness to do your job better. 4K monitors are becoming more popular each day, and I recommend them for video editing. However, if your current system can't handle processing 4K videos, you're probably better off with a full HD or Quad HD monitor, which will still deliver you a good experience without a lot of compromises. The latter will also be cheaper than 4K or higher resolution monitors. Thirdly, panel type. The panel type is a very crucial factor and something often overlooked. In the video editing industry, more often than not, we see LCD monitors that deliver plenty of sharpness and great contrast without forgetting the adequate color performance. Then again, these are in-plane switching LCD monitors that deliver great viewing angles, especially compared to twisted pneumatic or VA panels. However, in my opinion, OLED monitors deliver great viewing angles, amazing brightness and superb contrast ratio for great blacks and color performance. And lastly, color support. I should mention that color support is also a very important factor when it comes to buying a monitor for graphic design. To get an idea about this specification, check the color gamut, color depth, chroma subsampling, and similar specifications. But then again, the choice will depend on your personal preference and your budget. We are going to start this list with the best budget option that you can get your hands on. We're going to kick off this list with an excellent monitor coming in from Dell's lineup, the U2415, and this is our best budget option for video editing purposes. It's also a very versatile monitor that can do anything else, including gaming, so if you like to play a few sessions from time to time, it's great. I've seen a lot of budget monitors, but for professional media work, this is the best. And on top of that, it has all the features needed for a great dual monitor setup, so let's take a closer look at this affordable beast. The first impression I got from the Dell U2415 was pretty interesting, as it has an office look with a nice aesthetical vibe to it. It'll fit well in all design studios and office spaces without a doubt. It has a minimalist vibe to it with some utilitarian touches. It has a dark grey finish on the panel and a silver finish on its stand and base. It's rather sturdy overall, rocking a good build quality. In addition to all this, I should mention that the Dell U2415 is great for dual monitor setups with its super slim bezels on the sides and top. The Dell U2415 stand also offers plenty of adjustability and ergonomics, including height, tilt, pivot and swivel adjustment, making it a solid choice for everyone. However, if you're not pleased, you can opt for an aftermarket option thanks to the Visa mounting holes. The stand also has a cable management hole to deliver a clean setup for your connectivity. On the back, you'll see the connectivity options that include HDMI, mini DisplayPort, DisplayPort, AUX port and USB port, so you get plenty at your disposal. The performance of the Dell U2415 is enough to impress even the most demanding of users, so let's get on with it. It's based around a 24-inch in-plane switching panel that has a bit taller aspect ratio of 16 to 10. This aspect ratio suits the needs of different users, especially those concerned with productivity. It has a 1920 by 1200p resolution that results in a pixel density of 92 pixels per inch. The refresh rate of the monitor is 60 Hz, the contrast ratio is static at 1000 to 1, and it delivers plenty of colors including 99% of the sRGB and 77% of the Adobe RGB color space. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. We're going to continue our list with another LG monitor that delivers a lot more performance than the previous one, but with a great value for its mid-range price, the LG 27UK650W. 
This monitor is an excellent choice for a lot of users as it has native 4K resolution, superior colors, HDR support, and so much more. I've tested this monitor in a lot of different scenarios and I saw it as a great option, especially when it comes to video editing. I should mention that the LG 27UK650W has a pretty interesting design that's attractive to a lot of users, including me. The company took a minimalist approach here, again with interesting lines and proportions that make this one extremely attractive. I should mention that it's a pretty balanced package that looks very luxurious. It has very slim bezels on the sides and top and a bit thicker band on the bottom with the LG logo, the centerpiece for your desk without a doubt. I was worried about this monitor because it looked a bit fragile, but overall it was very durable and the build quality paid off. It's an arc-shaped base and the tubular neck of the device is taken by the arc line concept that does its job properly. It delivers great adjustability including height, pivot, tilt and on top of that it has the Visa mount capability. I should state that the connectivity options are good enough with two HDMI 2.0 ports, DisplayPort 1.2 and a headphone jack to wrap it up. The LG 27UK650W is based around a 27-inch in-plane switching panel with a native 4K resolution of 3840 by 2160 It has a native refresh rate of 60Hz and a response time of 5 milliseconds. I like that it had the light matte AG coating and it's pre-calibrated for accuracy from the factory. It has a 10-bit color depth and delivers 99% of the sRGB color space with tons of vibrancy and a perfect saturation. The brightness is also very solid and I didn't notice anything wrong about this panel. For gamers, it has the AMD FreeSync feature for tear-free gaming and everyone can find something useful with this one. If you have a MacBook or iMac, then this next model will be perfect for you. It's one of the best options for Mac users. The third entry in our list is once again a monitor from LG, but this time around we have something extraordinary the LG 49WL95CW. This monitor is one of the hugest ones I've ever seen with a 49-inch panel size with a 32 to 9 ultra-wide aspect ratio that's very interesting to see. It has tons of features, a high-quality body, and so much more going on with it. It is a bit expensive, but you essentially get three monitors here, so if you require three monitors, this is a great choice. The first thing you'll notice about the LG 49WL95CW is its large size, and I have to stress this one, it's a super large panel. It measures about 47.8 inches wide, which will take up a lot of space on your desk. But then again, this replaces two 27-inch Quad HD monitors without any borders on the very attractive size. The bezels around the screen look very good overall as they're thin, and the overall curved design of this monitor looks rather good and attractive. The stand based on the back of the model has a pearl finish that's very aesthetically pleasing. This stand offers plenty of adjustability and stability to this huge beast. It has height, tilt and swivel adjustment as well, which is rather good. On top of all that, you can also choose a Visa aftermarket mount for this beast of a monitor. Of course, in terms of connectivity, it has a lot to offer, including two HDMI 2.0 ports, a DisplayPort 1.4, four USB-A ports, a USB-C port, and 3.5mm audio port to deliver you a lot of functionality and convenience. One of my favourite features about this unusual monitor is that you can connect two PCs to it at the same time and use them at the same time thanks to the great screen real estate. The LG 49WL95CW is based around a 49-inch in-plane switching panel with a native resolution of 5120 by 1440 pixels and a solid 32 to 9 aspect ratio. The pixel density is about 106 pixels per inch and works well for a lot of different purposes. The color accuracy is pretty good and it delivers 99% of the sRGB color space. Brightness is at 350 nits at max and the contrast is pretty good overall. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. The runner-up on this list is one of the most impressive monitors I've ever seen, and it's one that's specifically designed for creative professionals, the Dell U3219Q. It has an amazing build quality, great ergonomics, adjustability, tons of resolution, great color reproduction, and a lot more that'll impress everyone. The Dell U3219Q is designed for professionals and you can see that by the lack of playfulness in its design and I have to say it looks pretty good overall. It has super thin bezels around the screen which is beautiful and overall I can say it's one of the most effortless designs out there. It looks good without even trying at all. A good job from Dell. Moving on I have to mention that the stand and base of this monitor are excellent, delivering tons of stability and adjustability. 
It's pretty surprising to see this amount of adjustability at this size, including height, swivel, rotate and tilt. The connectivity options are very good as well, including a DisplayPort 1.4b, an HDMI 2.0 port, a USB Type-C port and five other USB-A ports to get you going. I also like the new 5-way joystick that delivers great navigation for the on-screen display menus. The Dell U3219Q is based around a 32-inch in-plane switching panel that's designed to deliver a professional experience. It has a native 4K resolution and it's pre-calibrated from the factory, delivering 99% of the sRGB and Adobe RGB color spaces with marvelous accuracy. All this makes the Dell U3219Q a superb choice for video and photo editing purposes. Next up, we have the highest end model that you can get your hands on. It costs more than the rest, but it does do its job extremely well. If you want to get the best option when it comes to video editing monitors, I have to suggest the ISO CG2420BK, which might be a very expensive monitor, but it's specifically designed for video and photo editing. For professionals, this is the only viable choice if you don't want to sacrifice quality and accuracy. In terms of design and build, the ISO CG2420BK is not something attractive, nor something that'll catch your attention as it looks rather bland and boring. It has an all-black matte body with a blocky shape. You'll see the utilitarian vibes of this monitor from the get-go. It's a professional device that demands seriousness. The stand offers plenty of adjustability, including height, tilt, swivel and rotation, which is amazing. Connectivity is also great on this monitor, including DVI-D, DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI and USB 3.0 hubs to get you going. It also has a nice shading hood in the package to eliminate any kind of glare or distraction. The ISO CG2420BK is based around a 24-inch LED in-plane switching panel that has an anti-reflective coating on top. It has 1920x1200p native resolution and it delivers great pixel density. The panel of this beast is also a flicker-free one that converts the signal accurately. One thing I love about the ISO CG2420BK is that it has a built-in sensor that calibrates the screen without the need for an aftermarket device. Color read reduction is perfect for most color spaces, including sRGB, Adobe RGB, DCI-P3 and much more. Failsafe. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.